this nice tree. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Oh my. <laughs> well, I guess we're going this far. Man, look how that tree snapped off. Wow. Can we walk through that at all? I think so. Okay. All right. Well, it seems to me like this is going to be a common theme on all of our videos. <laughs> you know, it looks like there was something up the way, but maybe it's not. Maybe, it, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way, it, the way it's going. I don't know, but with no lights in here, it is creepy as a mug. Hello everybody. As you can see, Lisa and I are back finally and we are on a totally new trail. It's called the North Bend Trail. Uh, it goes actually from about Clarksburg, West Virginia to Parkersburg. It's about a 70 mile trail and it's starting off to look a little bit wet. And Lisa's walking her bike out through there. I'm going to ride. And let's see what will happen. Uh, hopefully it will dry out the more we go out through here. But let's see what we do here. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's, that's not bad at all. Okay, starting off with some butterflies. Okay, this one's a little bit sloppy looking. Yeah, we'll stay to the right here. And hopefully that's the worst of it. Okay, so we may we may have another mud ball ride that I had a couple months ago. We'll see. <laughs> you know, this trail is kind of a mystery. Um, we heard that it was not complete in this part of this part of the trail, but I thought I'd come out here just to see what it looks like, and hopefully I won't run over Lisa. But she's going to stop right in front of the mud. Okay. Let me go first. <laughs> Maybe. If you're going to walk through them all. Um, so. So, yeah, this was kind of a mystery. And I can see why they might have said it wasn't complete. Because they don't have any gravel down, really. It's just grass and mud. Yeah, we had to wait on a four-wheeler before we could get started. Actually, a side-by-side -side ATV. But it's starting to open up a little bit now, so it might not be too, might not be too bad. So, like I said before, this trail is about 70 miles between Clarksburg and, P and uh, Parkersburg, West Virginia. But we're not going to go that far. I can tell you that. You know, I'm only comfortable going about a 20 to 25 mile ride, so we may have to do this in sections. But we'll see how far we can go. We can at least make it to Salem. Uh, they've got a, got a university at Salem called Salem International University, I believe now. 
They have a lot of international students that go there. So we'll see how it turns out. We're actually at a little place called Wolf Summit, right outside uh, the west side of Clarksburg. And uh, so we're headed, headed west. So we're back. We had a little bit of uh, little interference in our helmets, so we had to turn them off and back on, and I think they're good now. Yeah. So I'm glad we're finally getting out here to ride. It's been about a week or so before we've been able to get out. Just been... Uh, just, just been busy, that's all, and then some little bit of rain in the middle of the week. We wanted, this is Sunday afternoon, we wanted to get out yesterday and we kind of let the day slip by. Um, Lisa ended up power washing the house and, <laughs> and the uh, back patio and stuff, and the front porch. So we yeah. kind of we kind of scrapped it. I watched the, the, the West Virginia Mountaineers play and beat a poor school, 66 to nothing, I think. <laughs> and uh, and today, let me just tell you that JP is not watching the live version of the Pittsburgh Steelers football game right now. Yeah, normally, uh, yeah, my Steelers started playing at 1 o'clock, and it's, I don't know, it's after 2 now, I think. And look at this nice tree. But I recorded it so we could get out here and finally ride. We had a, Brooke's little friend stayed the night with us, and they didn't, we didn't get her home until about a half an hour ago. Okay, now we're starting to look like a regular trail. Got a little bit of gravel here. A little bit of what looks like a road. Yeah. We're gonna have to get you a horse, honey. <laughs> well, I used to do my brakes and they'd squeak at them and they'd hear it, but my brakes aren't squeaking today, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I uh, can't use that. <laughs> I don't know what kind of a horn to get or a bell. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah but uh yeah i've been been needing to get out my dad and stepmother stopped by uh, uh friday had a little birthday lunch a little piece piece or two of cake good man i got nailed by some kind of locust or something Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess we're closed this far. But anyway, Jerry got uh. hit by a storm of bees. That's how she wrecked her bike. <laughs> Man, look how that tree snapped off. Wow. Can we walk through that at all? I think so. Okay. All right. Well, it seems to me like this is going to be a common theme on all of our videos. <laughs> Last time we had trees we had to walk over. This time... We've got the top of it. My camera just cut off for all of you that, I don't know if you saw me hit that mud puddle. I was going across a bridge back there looking over the side and didn't pay attention to the front of me and ran right through the middle of a mud puddle. Luckily, it wasn't too slippery or too deep. And uh, 
So yeah, I don't know how much got lost <laughs> during our little talk or what we were talking about. But anyway, we're back. Well, you were going to start talking about the trail, and I think about how many, how many something. Oh yeah. On it. Yeah, if I uh, if it was cut off, this trail has, from what I read, 15 or 20 bridge uh, tunnels. And like 20 or 30 bridges all the way out through here. I don't know how many will we'll end up going through or over. But that's part of the fun, I guess, of going out these trails. And one of the tunnels is rumored to be haunted. But I think it's a good bit farther down the road. Uh, and I don't know if you can, guys can hear those cars passing us pretty loud, but we're going right along Route 50, which is a four-lane road, 65 mile an hour speed limit, and uh, we're right next to it, so it's pretty loud. So I hope it's not interfering too much. I might have to kick it up to two, maybe. Yeah. That one's starting to get to me. Yeah. Sounds good to me. I know, and after a while, sometimes it seems like you're pedaling in mud. And you're not, but... Yeah. That's how I was feeling. Okay. Got a little road crossing. A little dirt road. Wow, I just felt a blast of air conditioning, it felt like. Yeah, it does. You feel that? It was like almost, almost cold. Holy smokes, I don't know what that is, but yeah, it kind of does feel like the tunnel, doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe that's what we're coming upon. Yeah, we've got a big puddle here. Go around the left side. Yep. It is a tunnel. Okay, our first tunnel. And hopefully it's not flooded. Uh, want to turn lights on? Yeah, turn on my light. Probably take off my sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any lights in this tunnel at all. Yeah. Oh, big rocks. Mm. a little bit quite a bit dark oh my goodness I need a flashlight got to uh, fix my light. There we go. Now I can see the ground. <laughs> you know, it looks like there was something up the way, but maybe it's not. Maybe, it, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way, it, the way it's going. I don't know, but with no lights in here, it is creepy as a mug. Okay, well, let's get going on. It's, the ground's decent now. Okay, let's get going then. My light's a little bit bent. Hang on, let me stop here. It actually got pushed over somehow. There, that's a little better. You point it up just slightly. I guess this is the stuff you should do before you come out, huh? All right. Okay. Well, I'll let you know if I fall in a big hole or something. I guess I'll hear you do it, but 
Kind of stay sort of to the right. Walking? Yes, I don't want to fall over. I don't think you'll fall over. Just pedal nice and easy. Just put it, put it down in one. I almost I flopped it into three by mistake. Is your light pointed down at the ground so you can yeah, see it? Okay, I'm out. And this rocks. These rocks are really big too. These are actually bigger than in there. Okay, I can stop. I can. That's scary. I can't. Are you? I'm just gonna push. Oops. All right, now we're coming to a bridge. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> 2 .3 miles in and a little bit more bumpy than we would have liked, but we got through it. Yep. You can go ahead and probably turn your headlight off. Oh, I can't feel my thumb. Oh. Save your battery. Yeah, that was kind of a, about the freakiest tunnel. <laughs> yeah, luckily ours in Fairmont has lights in it. No, oh. no. <laughs> Looks like they're trying to do something. They've got some, whatever these boards are. And now we're going into some high grass. I assume the trail's still going out through here. <laughs> Not a question. Okay, I see where it goes across the road. Here. Did you go back into two? Yeah, just now. We're having to go so slow in spots, I don't want to make this an all-day thing. <laughs> hey, look at the turkey. Oh, yeah? Bubble, bubble. Uh, buddy. Bubble. Big old turkey. Look at that thing. Yeah, that's my first turkey out on these trails, I think. <laughs> yeah, that kind of stayed with us there. Uh -huh. Usually if something crosses, it's fast and going. Now, okay, now we're going on the other side of 50, I guess, maybe. Yep, going under Route 50. So now it'll be on our right side. <laughs> Sorry, it just hit me. It's 
what it feels like. <laughs> camping area over there. Yeah. I'm not sure why they would camp there, but... <laughs> Maybe it's a friendly awesome. you know. Not too much out through here. I would say it's a storage place. A lot of people like to camp out here. Yeah, now we've got our gate up. <laughs> And there's Route 50. <laughs> Definitely a rough trail. Right by a water treatment plant. How wonderful. <laughs> I was watching a video uh, last week or week before I guess from a fellow West Virginian um, electric e-biker uh -huh. Trey Foles or Foles shoot sorry Trey if I messed up your last name it's either Foles or Foles I can't remember but anyway um, he was riding down the Clay River, Clay County, I think, and actually came up to a sign that, first sign like that I've ever seen, but it said, only Class 1 e-bikes, which meant you could not go on out through there with a Class 2 or 3 e-bike. For those of you that don't know, a Class 1 e-bike is a e-bike that only has pedal assist it does not have a throttle and it can only go 20 miles an hour you know like a class 2 so you know people that make those rules I think are just ignorant to what e-bikes are because having a throttle or not no throttle you're you can still go the same speed so to me, all that does is uh, keep people that might need more throttle than are able to pedal from being able to enjoy trails. Yeah. Coming around. How are you? So we're in Salem now. But yeah, I found that sign pretty interesting. It's the first sign I've even seen all the trails that I've been on that had that even said anything about e-bikes 
and they're limiting it to class one, which is absolutely ridiculous. Well, they truly don't want any kind of motor going through there, huh? Yeah, I mean, even with the throttle in a class two, you can still only go 20 miles an hour. Even if it's unlocked to a class three, the throttle still just takes you to 20 miles an hour. You have to pedal to go faster. So, um, it's just people that are ignorant of what e-bikes are. That's a shame. Hopefully, with more e-bikes, you know, people get more e-bikes. You know, people will understand them a little bit better. Because they're not like riding a motorcycle. You're not going to go spinning up the place with a throttle or any of that type of stuff. And I think that's what they think. I think they think you've got a throttle and you can go ripping out through there. And this is a storm here. Can we stop? Yeah. Well, this is a school, it looks like. I mean, we're in Salem, we may come across something. Yeah. I mean, it has been years since I've been in Salem. Yeah. And uh, it is a, what does this say? Caution, motor vehicle crossing. Okay. And dogs, I guess. Let's see, I wonder which way the trail is. That makes more sense. Like I said, Salem has a university here, but you're definitely not going to find any mansions in Salem. <laughs> it's a pretty, uh, pretty small town. And I've only been in through here once or twice in my life. There was one of those whistle uh, things right there. Oh yeah, I missed it. That big tall concrete thing on the right has a W. Yeah, I missed it. We just pass it? Yeah. <laughs> That's where they uh, tell the train to blow the whistle before they cross the street. Before they cross. Okay. Whistle. Whistle. Hey, another IGA. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Maybe. I doubt IGA would have one. I guess this may have been an old train station right here, huh? Yeah. It's kind of neat. Yeah. Hey. Salem Depot stage.
Not sure what that truck's doing. Sorry, buddy. That was a great truck to our side. Okay. Yeah. So we're back here. Here, let's just go down here. Angela's hair salon. Not long after the Revolutionary War. Very well, Dairy Queen. Uh -huh. Pretty new, probably. Uh -huh. I'd like to know what all these uh, pipes are. I think so. Department of Corrections. Uh-uh. I mean, that is grown up. Yeah, I don't think we want to go on. We may have to go out to the next town. Oh, shoot. I want to go over those pipes. Maybe. I'm not sure what county that would be. But dogs angry. Well, I guess we'll head on back. Um, how many miles did we got out through this way? 6.6. 6. 6. So we'll have a 14, 15 mile ride in 16 somewhere in there yeah still have your app on right yeah good the car uh -huh. <laughs> uh, it's like we're a parade or something Got a bike fix it thing over here again. Oh, yeah? Nice. It's kind of nice. Oh, yeah, I see it there. All right. Uh oh. Hope they have a flashlight. And they can get out of our way. How are you?
Goodness. Oh my goodness. I didn't take my glasses off, dang on. Are you gonna walk? Um, I'm back on. Man, I tell you, this is pretty eerie. Uh, I didn't see any flashlights. They have their cell phone lights, but those things don't light up too well out real far. This wouldn't be so bad if this wasn't so rough. Definitely rough. That's big. Rough, scare me. Okay. okay. All right, we're back. Big old stick in my wheel. Oh boy. Three now, though. Until we get to the mud, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I go down to one and just use my throttle, and then that way I can keep moving and I can put my feet out if I need to. Either way, to kind of help balance or whatever. Hmm. <laughs> I'm here, you're going that way. I'm going down here. 
I went a little bit too fast, actually. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, it's not like that. I think I'll get stuck in the tire or something. Uh, I mean, it oh, was right here. Oh, the, here they are. Okay. I'm going down the chair. Yeah, just kind of... I just kind of go to one, really. And then just throttle through. Little ass figure ass thing there. I just almost dipped in that one. Oh, goodness, that's a little slippery. I started. I didn't gun it at all. Oh, well. Oh, jeez. I started pedaling and I should have been throttling. And here comes this one. Just come way over to the left. Plus, I had put it in two. <laughs> okay, this one, uh, I guess, go around the left, I guess. Come over and look at your deal. Okay. All right, 13 miles. Let's turn these off. Group intercom disconnected. You've got 47 and a half volts. Wow, an hour and 50 minutes. 13 miles, 47.5 volts. Let me see how many volts I have. I think I was at 47.5 back in Salem. Well, actually, I'm at 46.5. So I use about a one volt more than you. Whatever that means. Yeah. So. I told a subscriber that I would talk about the main app that I use on the trail to show our distance and the pictures. That little uh, video that I usually put in at the beginning is the Relive app. If this is showing up, it's kind of bright out here. Mm -hmm. But this is it, and you can actually look at, you know, go out and look at your route and see where you went. But it tells you your miles here. So this says that we've gone 14.1 miles. And it, what did your thing say? 13 point something. 13. So this one shows an extra mile. But it'll show you your miles per hour if you want to, if you have some th something to post your, uh, or stick your phone up here with. And that's the Relive app. The main app that I use to actually find our trails is called Trail Link. It's right here. You open it up. You can actually, it'll start out just by showing you all the trails that are around you. Um, all these little green dots, if you can see them, are trails. You can touch them. It'll tell you Mon River Trail. And then here at the bottom, it'll you can... Uh, once you touch it, it'll tell you everything you need to know about the trail. You know, it's real, like I said, the sun is really bright, but you can read all about the trail. Um, but the good thing about it is you can put this uh, 
search in and you can put in your zip code and it will um, it will show you all the trails in your area so as you can see all these little green dots are all the trails in our area and we've ridden most of them the one that we're on now is this one out right here and it goes way out out to Parkersburg Southern Railroad Trail anyway so that's it it's called the uh, trail link and then Lisa has a different app what's yours called all trails hers is called all trails and sometimes hers tells a little bit more than mine and sometimes mine tells a little bit more than hers so uh, I would kind of recommend both of those um, sometimes they pop up better on hers than they do on my app and sometimes the other way around and again mine is uh, trail link and hers is all trails both of them are pretty good apps and that you get a lot of information on all the trails that are around you so um, I'm glad that uh, we got to get out again and uh, ride finally <laughs> after about a week so anyway uh, thanks for sticking with us on this rough trail it wasn't too bad but it was just a lot of grass so it was a lot of heavy pedaling I mean we ended up using a good bit of battery and uh, it was pretty tiring um, so anyway we'll uh, we'll go down to Salem probably or somewhere around there and kind of take this on out at some other time uh, we're not going to be able to hit it all at once but until next time you guys have a, a great evening uh, god bless and we'll see you on the next video